up for a cup of tea then, Dave? Yes, yeah, nice here though, isn't it? It's, um, I thought you might stop with the uh, the fields, you know, the rapeseed. It makes a good uh, photograph. I think it would have been okay. Good job you brought the gas. You I need to oil your boots. Nice boots these are. Squeak, they squeak quite a bit. They're the best boots uh, you can get, but they come with a nice squeak. So, so how are you getting on in your Clem Badlands? Because we oh, are out in the Badlands here. Yeah, I'm just testing his heads because of this temperature today you know it should be okay I only haven't done any vents yet on it so uh, I'm doing well and uh, we had an interesting uh, stop with the pigeons yes yeah bloke turned up didn't he let his uh, racing pigeons out his homing pigeons he's racing out now to see how many get home <laughs> yeah not my kind of thing but no, um, I'm sure no. it's uh, somebody's I cup of tea I don't think so no yeah good job I wasn't flying my drone at the time because that would have been interesting <laughs> so how did you how did you find the off-roading to get it in Dave because that was a bit extreme wasn't it what's here down yeah. there oh yeah well I'm gonna have to wash the bike when I get home definitely now this is mild to what we had before though isn't it yeah. really well I mean Dave, Dave's done a bit of extreme off-roading today he did manage to miss the puddle but it is um well, it's got to be at least 20 metres to the main road, so so yeah, we've done well, you know. These are enduro bikes, they're built for this kind of stuff, aren't they, Dave? I think the thing is, as well, it's uh, it's worse for me because of the extra weight in the tank. Well, know, I thought you were going to say fuel. on you. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> and me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, it's extra fuel, I think, in the tank. I filled up anyway today because I think, what are we doing? Doing an 80 mile road 80 trip. miles, yeah. yeah. And uh, I filled up to the brim. I looked and got it right up to the top of the, the rim, like, because... Uh, you know, we could be 20 or 30 mile away from a garage. Yeah, and you... you've only got a 400 mile range, yes, haven't you? Yes, well, this yeah. is it. Yeah, you do need to be careful. <laughs> yeah. I do hope our, our, our American watchers over the pond understand the British sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> if not, they'd think you were actually serious about that. <laughs> Definitely. So we're just looking at the new Dynamic ESA for the R1200 GS 2017 version because it's uh, version 2 of this. Quite a good system, it seems to be simpler to use than the, the old one. You just hold the suspension button down to actually change the mode between minimum uh, ride height, maximum ride height and automatic which is just self-leveling and it's supposed to sort everything out for you. The other thing is you can do, you can just switch it between dynamic and uh, road and once you've done the two, that's all you actually have to do on the suspension itself. So quite similar to the old one, but you haven't got any of the um, two up, two up with pillion and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you just put it on auto for that and it self levels. Um, so nice system and it seems to hold well on the road, although I'm not a good enough rider to actually tell you if it's making that much of a difference in the day to day.